on. I mean, she had this like nervous feeling about her, but I'm like, spit it out. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to this episode of English Turks, where I review your favorite Turkish series with and without English subtitles. And today, we're talking about Goat's Goon F. Cameron Deer, episode 7. All right, guys, so this episode was another one of those filler episodes, which really you spent two hours watching so much, but really not getting the answers that we want, okay? Obviously, the whole, like, the whole teasers from every fragment is this idea that Zenep is going to find out that Mehdi is the parent to this child, or even if Mehdi's gonna find out. But yet, still, they were able to drag us through another two-hour episode, and neither party finds out. I think what really bothered me the most was how Mehdi's sister was trying to tell Mehdi that he was gonna have the baby, or what Benal said, or whatever. Like. How long does it take you to spit that out? You sat there with this man, gave Zenith enough time to walk down a whole bunch of flights. Did you see how many stairs she had to walk down just to get to this lady? Then to have a conversation with this lady, walk back. I don't know, because now all of a sudden she wasn't walking downstairs. She was going around a corner. Maybe she had to get to the stairs from another corner. I don't know. But in all that time, you can be like, Oh my gosh, brother, let me tell you what's going on. I mean, she had this like nervous feeling about her, but I'm like, spit it out. And then every time she's about to open her mouth, Medi interrupts her like, why does Medi want to say like, oh, oh, what do you want to say? Just tell me, tell me, tell me. And the next minute he's like, okay, but now said, oh, da, 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 da. and then he just cuts her off. Like, come on. We see that in every single one of these dizzies. I mean, it is the key thing that they do in every one of these dizzies. Every time the main character is about to find out, the main character interrupts the person trying to tell them. And that kind of stuff just pisses me off. But I knew it was going to happen. I knew it. I really thought two episodes was all they needed. That's all they wanted for Zenith. I mean, like, but no, nope, for Medi, we're going to drag this out because Banal, I guess, is a closer character to them being that she lives in the same city. Um, but aside from that, I'm still, I still want to talk about Banal because she was basically like the main topic of the episode. The fact that like Zena went and told her mom about it after she was like, don't tell anybody. And she figured, oh, well, you know, my mom doesn't know you. So I told her she's really like, okay, but you're doing a little bit too much. And now she's like, oh, we're like really good friends. You're not good friends. You spoke to this girl like two times. I guess she feels a closer connection because she went with her to the hospital, but I kind of feel like she's being nosy. I don't know. I don't like people being so pushy into my personal affairs. Now let's talk about Banal telling the sister and then the sister going to tell the, the lady, whoever she is, and then the lady going back and yelling at Banal. Like, you people got a lot going on, but it was expected. But they're telling her the truth, like, do you think that Medi's gonna go to you when he could have? I love the way she put it. She said, like, okay, so Medi never went to his mom and said, like, oh no, you know, when his mom suggested this marriage, he didn't say, no, I actually have someone that I'm interested in. No, he doesn't want you. And it seems like Benal is taking her turn for the worst. She's still being nice to Zena, but she's being nice to Zena with the mindset that Zena and Medi are not gonna last. And I can understand where she would get that idea from, being that Zenep is a very forthcoming a lot with the things going on in her relationship with Medi. So for her, it seems like, okay, well, they're just going to be together just for Kibri. They're just going to be each other for a year. They're not really going to stick together. And maybe, you know, Medi's going to realize that he really does like me and he really does love me. And maybe this child is going to make us grow closer together. So I understand where her thought process is going. So I'm not going to put her on a negative list. I saw a comment on Facebook where somebody was like, um, so do we love Banal or are we hating on Banal or do we love Banal? Because that's a true question. We still don't know yet. Like I, we're, we're getting more on the we don't kind of like you side, but she still has a little bit of basis. I mean, just a little bit. I mean, I think Medi was pretty clear with her. If anything, she should just hook up with Faduk, but no, Faduk's go, now he's kissing Eminem and I don't know why. 
Why is he kissing on Emine? Maybe he feels that connection because he doesn't have that female connection right now. And Emine is very forthcoming with him, tells him what he needs to know. And she is attractive. I'm not going to lie. Emine is good looking. But she seems more attracted to the wealth than she does to Farouk. I don't think she's as interested in Farouk than as she is in the wealth and that lifestyle. And that I can also understand. You see, that's the problem with the show. You can understand why every character would feel the way that they do. I do love the fact that Zenep kind of like feared for her father. I feel like it's a little weird, you know, one minute you're yelling, I hate you, but we tend to do that. We get angry with our family members, but we want them around despite their flaws. But her dad is really nowhere to be found. He's roaming around the city. He's still trying to steal. It's not working for him. At least they didn't throw him in jail. He didn't get run over by a train. So he is surviving out there in the streets, you know, in these cold, hard streets. But I still feel like Zenep's mom is really just all about herself. Now, the conversation she had with Zenep, you know, and all that stuff. She's like, well, you never did it before. Maybe now she's more afraid because she's they're not living in their own home, you know? I can understand Zena's mother in that case, you know? You you have a home, you need you want a man around to be there to support you, to keep you safe. You know, you have that mindset because she looks like somebody with that kind of mindset. However, now she's living in Medi's house. She's got Medi, she's got Medi's parents, I mean, mom, she's got her daughter. You know, so it's kind of like, well, you know, I'm going to be able to survive either way. So I think she's more concerned about herself, but still yet a little bit concerned about her husband because she spent so many years with her husband. Now, I have not really touched on Zenep's stepdad just because that situation just opened a whole new can of worms, especially being that the woman that he's cheating on his wife with is a lawyer in the company and so has a relationship with both Zenep and Zenep's stepmom. So, like, I just want to see that develop, but he is aware that Medi knows about his child and second family and all of that. And he's, Mehdi has told him, don't worry, I'm not going to share any of your news with neither Zenep or anybody. I'm going to let that come out on its own. Even though he almost did tell Zenep's stepmom when she was delivering all Zenep's stuff, which I wonder what happened to that. Oh, interesting thing. Did you guys see in the video, in the uh, show, when um, Mehdi's mom was looking at the picture of all her three kids, that they were actually all three wearing the same outfits that they were wearing that same day in the episode. I thought that was so funny. The same, <laughs> Medi was wearing the same sweater. The sister was wearing the same outfit. The other sister was wearing the same outfit. And she's looking at the picture like they took that picture a long time ago, when obviously somebody took that picture the morning of the shoot. I'm just saying. I love that part. But other than that, we didn't really get much from this episode. I'm trying to remember what I saw in the fragment that stood out to me. It looks like Benal is going to tell Zenep who the father is, but I think she thinks it's going to work in her favor if she does that because maybe Zenep, since Zenep feels so much for her, Zenep will take a step back and let them be together. But I don't know. They did end up getting Kibri. Kibrit's in the house. So we'll see. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. It really was just a filler episode. Sometimes I don't like wasting two hours of my life just to watch what I already know. But I still love the show. And you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.